One of the most common beliefs is that heavy periods are just part of being a woman. While heavy bleeding is common, that doesn't mean it's something you just have to live with. There are safe, effective treatments that can significantly reduce your flow and improve your quality of life, and wanting that relief is completely reasonable. Another myth is, I can't be anemic because I eat well. Diet does matter, but it's only one part of the picture. If you're losing blood, and therefore iron, month after month at a rate your body simply can't match, you can still become iron deficient, even if you eat a balanced, iron-rich diet. Thinking, I eat fine, so this can't be anemia, can delay you getting a simple blood test that might explain why you feel so drained. Similarly, you might hear or think, if I'm older, it's normal to have heavy bleeding. Perimenopause can certainly change your cycle, but new, sudden flooding, heavy bleeding between periods, or bleeding after sex are still reasons to be assessed, regardless of age. There's also a tendency to jump straight to specific diagnoses. For example, pain always means endometriosis. Endometriosis is an important condition to recognize, but pelvic pain can come from many different causes, and it's not helpful to assume you know the answer before being examined. Instead, the key is not to dismiss your pain or bleeding patterns. If they're persistent, severe, or affecting your life, they warrant proper assessment.